Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got She Modern's Glitter Toppers and Decal Mani. I have started this manicure off with Neltik's Formula 2 and China Glaze's Cowardly Lion and Sally Hansen's Forbidden Fudge. These are my base colors. And then I topped them off with Posh to get them to dry down. And here are the sparkling nail glitters. I've got brown bronze and gold champagne to play with today. They've got instructions on the back that are easy to follow. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways you can apply these. I'm going to be using super dry. And here we go. Let's break off into it. Let's get them out of the package. And this is all that it comes with. It comes with a little container for your nail brush cleaner. And here's the glitter and it came with a little pop stick and they also sent some little decals these are awesome decals they're very durable but they're very thin and then this is your mixing canvas I'll show you how to use it here in a minute I'm gonna put a very thin layer of the super dry on a couple of nails to show you one technique it's not a thick coat, it's, it's very thin, but I did make sure to cover all of the nail because anywhere you don't get it, the, the glitters aren't going to stick. So you tap the bottle over your nail and take your finger and push it down, pat it down into the nail and then add a little bit more of the glitter and keep tapping it until you reach the opacity that you want. This was very, very easy to do. and. To be honest, it wasn't near as messy as I thought it was going to be. It was very easy. And here we go. We're going to do the gold over the cowardly lion. And the same method. We're just tapping it in. Kind of tap, tap, tap. And then go back in and kind of sprinkle a little bit more on and tap it in. Very cool. And then I'm going to take an old brush and just kind of clean up, dust off some of the excess from around my cuticle and sidewalls and stuff just to you know, I guess I gotta clean it up a little bit. And now I'm gonna top it off. I'm gonna seal it in with some of the super dry just to make sure all those glitters stay. And wiping off my brush so that I don't contaminate the bottle. I didn't have a whole lot on there, just wanted to make sure. And then I've covered the other one also. And see, there's nothing on the brush, so no need for me to clean it at this point. I'm going to use my orange wood stick, Woody, to clean up any, you know, excess top coat that I have there. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. Glittery fun. And then you clean off your brush in between, you know, if you're going to put the brush back in the bottle, you're going to want to make sure you clean it off. And you just kind of swish it around and wipe it between a couple of paper towels. And here's the other method you can use. You use the little mixing mat, and I'm applying three drops of the super dry to a little bit of sprinkling of the gold sparkling glitter. And then I mix it up with the brush. Mix it up really good so that all the glitter gets wet with the nail polish. And then you just brush it on like regular nail polish. I really did like this um, form of using it. Um, it does have a little bit more cleanup with the cleaning up of the brush, but not bad. And I can honestly say that I didn't see a difference in opacity. And I'm just cleaning off that mix-up mat um, with some acetone and a cotton ball. And then we're going to do the bronze. Like I said, I really didn't notice a big difference between either application. They both work out looking about the same. And here I go. I'm going to add a about three drops of the super dry to the bronze and mix it all up. Just swirling it around, brushing it back and forth, very easy. And then just brushing it straight onto the nail. Now you could use this with gel polish and, um, you know, but this is all with regular polish today. And then I'm going to wipe off my brush a little bit with my paper towel. And then I'm going to go in and swish it into the acetone and clean it off and swish it some more, wiping it. And there we go. It's perfectly clean. I'm not going to get anything back into the bottle. Very easy. Very nice. And back into the bottle it goes. 
So now I'm going to use the same super dry and I'm going to seal this in a little bit with the super dry top coat and I'm checking to make sure there's nothing on the brush and there isn't. Everything's all mushed down into the nail polish. And here we go. We're going to do a final top coat on it. Well, I say final. We're going to do something else. But I'm going to do a nice, good, fast drying top coat over everything and let them dry down before we use the decals. I loved how shimmery these were. They were just absolutely fantastic to look at. I really, really enjoyed them. And I stepped outside of my normal bounds and I got the bronze and the gold this time. Normally you guys know I go for the pinks and purples and blues, but I wanted to go with more fall appropriate colors this time. There we go. Look how shiny. Gorgeous. And it looks beautiful just like this. You could stop right there. But I'm going to use some of the decals. They sent me all these little nail decals. And today I'm going to use the kind of green, minty looking green leaves. I'm going to pull them off with my tweezers. And apply it onto the nail. I'm going to get it to stick. And then I'm going to take my finger and rub it really well to make sure that it's laying flat. Um, this decal actually was just a little bit too big for my nail. I've got a little bit of overhang. I'm going to have to take care of that here in a little bit. But we're going to go in with our next decal on the middle fingernail. And you just rub them and you know, mush them down with your fingertips. The warmth from your finger also helps them adhere to the nail and makes them stick really nice and flat. Here we go. These are super easy to use. I really do like the decals. And I am going to use up all these little leaf decals. I use every one of them on this mani. Put one single little leaf over here on my pinky. I'm going to have to do it with my fingers. I've been having issues with the tweezers. But once again, just rub it down. Make sure it's smooth and flat. You don't want any air pockets or anything. Because then your mani won't last as long. I'm going to turn that one around so I can get the positioning I want. Just get it to stick a little bit and then rub it down. And now for the last one. go. I just love these. I think they're so cute. There we have it. I'm going to do just a little bit of touch up with this. I'm going to try to melt this with some pure acetone and my little cleanup brush. You could snip it with some scissors or you can do it like I'm doing it with the acetone and a brush. Whatever works for you, whatever you feel more comfortable with. And I'm going to use the Revolution by Picture Polish. It is a glitter foil topper. It is a water-based product, so it will not crinkle these beautiful foils. Now, you can also use gel polish, and they won't crinkle the foils either. But since I was using regular polishes today, which is what most people have, I decided to go ahead and use the water-based one. But I'm going to put the water-based one on and let it dry completely before I add on my regular top coat. So there we go. Very pretty. And now I'm going to go in with my regular top coat and seal this all the way in and make the mani last, capping my ends. I love this one. I guess officially this is my first fall manicure, <laughs> or autumn, depends on where you live, what you call it. Down here we call it fall. There we go. Very easy, very, you know, I didn't have to have a lot of a hand coordination for this one. Here's my swatch photo. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this one. And remember, I'll leave a link for She Modern down below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.